Every family has a different routine when headed back to school. Mine was to hide. <laughs> Today is the first day of school for San Juan Unified Schools, among others. Do whatever you can to not go. Nah, that yeah, might that be was the, the idea then. Hopefully yours isn't too chaotic this morning. But today, BC10's Monica Coleman got a behind-the-scenes look at how teachers and the principal are preparing for the first day of school. It's the first day of school for San Juan Unified School District students, and we're here at Cameron Ranch Elementary School, where 380 kiddos will be filling in the classrooms in any moment. But first, we talk with a couple teachers and the principal about what to expect. Is, did you clean your mouth? You know, is your hair combed? Did you put both shoes on? Do they match? <laughs> you know, like more of just the reminding. But right Jennifer now, Morgan is a mom of a first grader, grader and eighth grader that attend San Juan Unified Schools and described to me the first day of school routine in her household. And the kids get themselves up. We've taught them how to fix their own breakfast. Um, and right now they're excited. While the kids were enjoying their last day of summer, teachers were already at school training and preparing their classroom for students to arrive. That's where we found 11 year veteran teacher Michelle Pond. The third grade teacher says she loves bringing new activities in every year and identifying where students need the most help. My uh, grade level partner and I were talking about our reading and our writing curriculum. And we feel like writing here at Cameron Ranch has kind of been our struggle. Uh, we really want the kids to be able to not just be great writers, but we want them to be able to also be really great readers. And they're really tied together, right? Um, we want to be able to implement new things like book studies this year. Principal Allison Sloss makes it her mission to meet with parents and talk to them about their needs. Many parents' top concern is safety, which is why Sloss says her campus has active shooter drills that are age appropriate for elementary students and a new fence being built. Our school got selected to just get some core fencing um, just to, as another layer of safety for our school. And so that's starting this year. We're moving into those conversations with the district and the construction will be starting um, within the next calendar year. When you step on the campus at Cameron Ranch, you can feel the love and excitement instantly as students will be greeted by their favorite painted falcon. Can't tell you the number of first day of school pictures that are taken by our mural. You know, this is just a representation of who we are. That is a cool logo. You gotta love that. Okay, here's a look at some of the locations heading back to school this morning, just literally maybe an hour or two away. Elk Grove to Roseville. Lots of parents getting ready to drop off the kids. And, you know, be mindful of that if you're driving around today in any of these school districts. That's gonna be really busy with moms, dads, and kids all a little extra time at drop off today.